<clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, my name is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 137. Okay, in the past, recent past shows, I've reviewed four newer, not the newest, of course, newer Grundig radios, shortwave radios. Uh, from size wise, from the 450 S450, <clears throat> which I'm going to show again today, to the 350, which is a little smaller, older vintage, to the G3, which is smaller again, kind of about that big, to the G8, which is the smallest. And they range in price from $100 to uh, approximately $50. And besides doing an individual review of each radio, I've done um, a comparison of two radios at a time. I compared the two large radios, the 450 and the 350, in their reception capability, besides doing the review, individual re review. Then I did the same thing with the two smaller ones, the G3 and the G8 as far as, again, reception capability. Today, I'm going to go to the two extremes. I'm going to take the biggest radio, size-wise, and theoretically, maybe the best reception radio, um, which is the 450, to the smallest one, which is the G8, uh, which still had very good reception, and I'm going to compare receptions of those two radios today. And it's about um, 6.40 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time down here in Florida. And we're going to see what we can receive today. Again, I'll use that web shot, web shot, web site, short dash wave, um, to give me some indications what should be on the air right now that I should be able to pick up. So, here we go. I'm going to move the camera over to the radios, away from my ugly face. Here we go. Do a little zooming in here. Not too much. Okay, as you can see, hopefully, I have the, the let me turn this over so I can see what I'm doing here. I have, whoa, I have a fast cart here. I have the Grundig S450 DLX. It's a big guy here. Not the biggest portable radio that uh, Grundig makes, but one of the biggest. The biggest, I believe, of recent radios is the 800. And then, um, then I think it's the 750 is a little smaller, and then the 450 is the next, as far as physical size. Then, as far as physical size, we have here the Grundig G8, which I did a review um, a couple of shows ago. And we're going to compare reception capability this morning. Of course, got a lot of variables here um, as far as time of day, conditions, and stuff like that. But we're going to give it a shot anyway. So here we go. And I've got the web page up. And it says, for instance, down at 5.020, I should receive the broadcast, the BBC broadcast, Relay from the Solomon Islands in British Columbia. Okay, here we go. So we're going to turn the big guy on. Now i got to remember how to use it. Oh, I had it on. <laughs> okay, dummy. And we'll go down to 5.020. Oh, before I do that, since I'm here, we're on... Uh, 10 megahertz, which is WWV. So let's just see if there's anything going on there. RF gain is, or 
Oh, yeah. Don't hear anything. Okay, let's just quickly go to the little guy here. Turn it on. And tune down. Hey, yeah, fast tune, yeah. Oops, would help if I would tune down and set up. Okay, WWV. Again, I'm using their built-in telescopic antennas. Right now, I'm hearing the tick of the clock on 10 megahertz. Pretty loud and clear. Let's uh, turn the volume down. Okay. There it is. So this guy, this guy is receiving it loud and clear. Whoops, we just knocked it over. Okay, now we'll turn the volume back on this guy. And guess what? I'm not getting anything. So, little guy is receiving it loud and clear. Big guy, no receive. We'll move it around a little bit. No receive. Okay, this guy fails. Let's uh, turn the volume down. Now we'll go to 5.02, which is what we were going to do originally. So we'll zoom down here, see are we fast tune or we're on slow tune. I'll go to fast tune. And I got to change bands. And now we'll crank back up to five zero. Five point zero. Five point zero. I should have used the quick tune button, but I didn't. We're getting there. There we go. Five zero. Two zero. What we're looking for. Okay, there it is. Turn the volume up. Well, that, um, that, we're getting something loud and clear, but it's definitely not the Solomon Islands uh, relay, BBC relay. It sounds like a Spanish station, but we are receiving something strong. So we'll see what, what we get on the little guy here down there now with this one believe it or not when this little guy tunes we try to do a fast tune it tunes a lot faster believe it or not okay five zero two zero there we are See if I got everything right. Yep, everything's right. It's trying to receive something, but it's just not coming in. Try tuning around there. Okay, there's. Okay, I'll turn the volume down. Okay, that is this the little one, the G8, is receiving is receiving nothing on five zero two zero, but it is receiving something something on five zero two five. And let me go back to this one and just turn it up to That's the same that's the same station except it's showing at five point zero two zero on here. I'm gonna tune it up. Yep. So when I when I tuned it up to 5.25, excuse me, 5.025 on the big guy, 
I got the station that I was getting on that frequency down here. So this guy was getting that station a little distorted at 50.20, where this one was, uh, the word is, or the term is more selective. It was picking out that station better in that when I had it tuned to 5.020, it received nothing. But as soon as I turned it over to 5.025, boom, it came in. Where this one was letting it bleed in and getting it even down at the lower frequency. Even though I have the bandwidth set at narrow on this radio. So that's interesting. So this is showing, for that one example, that the little radio is more selective in tuning out, uh, tuning stations right on the frequency than the big guy here. So that's one example. Okay, let's go to uh, Tennessee. A local station in Tennessee, which is at 5830. I will tune this to 5830. Okay, we got 5830. We got a caller on the line. And there it is. And hello, caller. Hello, Jason. How are okay, you? Okay, it's loud and clear, which is typical for that station um, because um, it is here in the United States up in Tennessee. Um, it's the, the call letters are WTWW. Okay, so let's go to this radio and we'll tune it up. Okay, we're going up and no, we're going down. Five eight three zero. Okay, turn the volume up. Up. And statement take him on every front he could possibly come up with except his wife. Yes. And his, you know, his wife told us to just give okay. up curse God, curse God, and I. It, it, this radio is receiving it loud and clear too. Now you, you may have noticed. Let me turn it back on again. Our volume up. It, the, the sound is a little tinny on this little speaker. So that's a disadvantage of a little guy over the big guy. Now it, it's faded a little bit. You know, conditions are changing. So those two on a strong station, they did about the same. So that was a strong station. So let's get away from the United States again and see what we have here. See if we can get Australia. Not been very successful getting Australia. But maybe uh, this time of morning, maybe I can get it. It's at 59 or 5.995. Okay. 995. Oop, went right past it. And we'll tune up the volume. nothing okay so on the big guy 5.995 which is radio australia nothing so we'll try the little guy crank it up i always turn this one backwards nine nine five okay we turn the volume up volume up Nope. Not picking up anything. <coughs> Excuse me. So they both failed on that station. It's going up in frequency. Uh, ooh. Jump up here.
Okay, um, India Radio is at seven two seven zero seven point two seven zero seven two seven zero right there. Nope, nothing on the big guy, the little guy. And of course, I'm going backwards again. Seven, two. Whoop. Okay. Nope, nothing there. Come back down. Okay, let's jump up real quick to uh, WWV at. Oh, we did WWB at 10-0. I didn't do it at 5-0. Okay, skip that. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, station that might be pretty strong. It's on right now. Monticello. 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 I could be pronouncing that right, wrong. 9330. 9-3. Nine three. Three zero. Whoop, I'm right past it. Okay. Not doing any good there either. Okay, we'll crank this up there real quick. Okay, now, it turns down. Okay, now we're going to do it differently. We're going to find a station on the big guy. Whoops, careful there. And then see if we can find it on there and not use the schedule at all. And won't, we won't uh, worry about whether it's English broadcast or not. So we'll turn the volume up and we'll start tuning. I went past the band. Okay. Fine, man. Okay, I'm pretty high in frequency. I'm already, already up to 15 megahertz. This time of day, which is early morning, uh, reception is better on the lower frequencies. So I'm going to jump down to the lower frequencies. Um, we'll go to the band 1. And we're at 3.150 is where we're going to start. That's 3.185 coming in pretty good. It's a little in and out there. Let me see if I can see anything on the website. Yeah, that's in Morrison, Tennessee. Okay, we should be able to get that. So we'll go to this guy and we'll go down. And the beauty of this little guy is I don't have to switch bands. It's just continuous tune. So I'm already down to 3.5 and I want 3.1.85. It's coming in. It's, 
it's a little in and out and it's not clear but it's coming in about the same as the big guy so those two guys are about the same now that it that is a um, a station in the United States um, so shouldn't be that much trouble to receive it so let's turn this guy back on There's something there, uh, it's at 4.405, but it's muffled. It's, 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 there's something there, but it's muffled, almost like it's single sideband. Now, let's just see what this guy does uh, at 4... Point four and thereabouts. Let's go back up there. Four point four. Coming up. Okay, turn the volume up. Turn no, it's changes to uh, step to there we go slow. Okay, I'm not picking up anything on there around there. There's still something there. It seems to be at 4.4. It, it, um, but it's not clear, like it's not really on that frequency. Okay, we're going to wrap this up by going up to uh, 5 megahertz WWV. See if I can hear the clock, and then we'll call it a wrap. There we go. I'm just going The clock is in there. It's uh, pretty weak, pretty in and out on the big guy. We'll try it quickly on the little guy. And then we'll call it wrapped. Let's go five zero is what I want. Oh, I'm on slow, slow step. Oh, yeah. Okay, oops. There we go. It's uh, it's there. I can hear the ticking, but it's very weak. About the same uh, strength as the big guy. So they were they were pretty much equal. So. The conclusion from this little test, and it's very little slice of the spectrum and the time of day, is that reception-wise, these two guys are about the same. This one did get a station that this didn't get. All the other stations, they both got to some degree. This one, the little guy here, the G8, was a little more selective in a decatuna station out right on frequency where this one was getting it across uh, about 10 megahertz plus or, or plus or minus 5 megahertz. 
So the narrow band tuning wasn't that narrow. So anyway, that's the show for today. If you got any comments, uh, please leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I think we're within about five people of getting 600 subscribers. So we're well on our way to uh, 1,000. And I'm going to have a giveaway at 1,000 of one of these radios. And at 750, I'm going to give a, have an, another giveaway. Of, I haven't determined what. So at 750, which is about 150 away, we're going to have another giveaway. I'll probably announce that at the next show, what that's going to be, and I'll start that contest. That's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.